Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, we'll be doing a review for Moon Knight, Fist of Khonshu number one. This is a new book from Marvel Comics. Let's take a look at the creative team before we get into this book. Uh, this book and this story, New Moon, is written by Jen McKay with art by Alessandro Capuccio. Colors by Rachel Rosenberg, letters by Corey Petit. Main cover by Dev David Paratore. Uh, we'll see some other covers uh, towards the end of the video, as well as some of the ones I picked up in this issue. Mark Spector back from the beyond. So this all takes place, of course, after the events of Blood Hunt, as well as the end of the Vengeance of the Moon Knight series. Uh, as an avatar, an agent of the Egyptian god of the moon, Khonshu, former mercenary Mark Spector, has died and come back to life on more than one occasion. To the ignorant, his fate beyond death's grasp may be idyllic, but being chosen as a fist of country comes with a very heavy cost. And like bones in a street fight, Mark Spector and the multitudes he contains may be about to break. Yeah, really, really interesting approach. Uh, we are back down to a more street level thing, uh, right? Uh, he's very focused on making sure that the midnight mission is uh, clear. Uh, we are now seeing the introduction of this new drug that's flooding uh the midnight mission and the surrounding neighborhood and moon knight is not about it so he is bursting down the doors breaking breaking face i mean breaking faces uh to figure out what he needs to know so very interestingly people are also after moon knight and trying to figure out how they can get rid of him uh so it's two different sides now in a collision course that is very much impending uh so Really enjoyed this issue. Really good to see the team back together. Uh, Alessandro Capucci has been the main artist on Moon Knight for a while now. Uh, as of today as well, when recording this video, it was announced that he will be uh, the artist on Ultimate Wolverine, written by Chris Condon. So that should be a lot of fun uh, coming out in 2025. So uh, I can't wait to see what that looks like. Uh, hopefully that means that he will be finishing off, finishing off this series first and then going over to that. Uh, I would hate to see him leave Moon Knight. Uh, I've just become so accustomed to uh, the way that this art team puts the book together. Uh, speaking of art, let's talk, talk about some of the panels on the preview pages. As I mentioned, Moon Knight, or Mr. Knight in this case, running around trying to get some information, breaking down doors, as I mentioned. Uh, but we also see a cop looking for information on Moon Knight, trying to figure out how to best get rid of him how to best keep him off the streets. Uh, like I mentioned, we also talk about this new drug. And it's really, once you get to the last page of the issue, you'll see that some of the some of the little details that were drawn in here for some of these characters, specifically this detective, uh, kind of come back and explain everything that you may need to know. Uh, really cool callback to the Thunderbolts and Devil's Reign era. Uh, so that was really interesting. But of course, we know that uh, Moon Knight was in jail during the most of Devil's Reign, uh, because he was trying to get somebody out of there. Um, make sure to go check that out. That was a really fun issue, actually. Uh, but yeah, this is all full of, of course, uh, the nice gratuitous violence that Moon Knight brings to the page, but also the twists and turns that Jed McKay has gotten us used to. Uh, so yeah, really, really cool. Um, I really enjoyed this book. I had a lot, I, I've been loving this Moon Knight series since it started back in, I don't know, 2022. And although it's gone through some changes, um, I just can't wait to see where we're going to go from here. Uh, I picked up uh, the Stephen Platt variant cover. That one really called out to me. feels very uh, reminiscent of some of the you know older, like David Finch style of Moon Knight drawing. But then I also picked up the main one. Uh, so I, picked, I was able to get two of the covers. There was one really cool foil cover. But boy, oh boy, that one was a little bit pricey. I was not, I did have, they did have it in my shop, but uh, I could not justify uh, spending the dough, extra dough on that. You might see it at the end of the video. Uh, stay tuned. There's some other covers that are not the ones I picked up. Uh, but yeah, really loving this book, really enjoying the, the Moon Knight journey. And if this book concludes sometime in 2025, it will have been, and it probably will have become my seminal moon knight run just jed mckay i would love an omnibus of like everything from a series you know from the beginning of moon knight through blood hunt and vengeance uh, all the way to this fist of conchu also i can't wait to see where the rest of the 
characters, you know, Hunter's Moon and everyone else that is around uh, the Moon Knight Arbit, how they play into the series. So if you read this issue, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.